My name is Chloe Unruch, and I'm the Smith Valley B manager. So we're in pretty much in the middle of the school farm right now, next to the turkeys. And the bees, if you're heading away from the turkeys, are to the left. My mom was actually thinking about becoming a beekeeper. That sounds really interesting. That's something I've never really considered and never put any interest into. But I thought it would be really fun and a good learning experience to start that. It was really awesome. I never looked inside a beehive before. I didn't know what to expect. And the bees were surprisingly calm. And it was just really interesting how much detail they put into everything. And it was just amazing for me. So the first frame that I pulled out was just covered in honey. There was just pretty much nothing on it except honey cells. And I didn't really know the, how to tell the difference between a honey cell and a larva cell. So I wasn't really sure, but then I kind of looked closer and saw that it was too flat to be a larva cell. Well, I have a friend that's also a bee manager, well, a beekeeper at his house, and he said, that's really cool, I think you'll love it. And we kind of got to the be on the same level. And the other friend that I talked to about this was like, that's really cool, that's awesome. I hope you don't get too stung too often. And it was just... Everybody was really excited, including myself. I was really, really excited about that. I did once, right below my chin, and I was surprised about how much it hurt because I'd gotten stung on my arm once, but it's way more painful around your head. Yes, usually I would check on them two to three times a week because the bees kind of need space. They don't like people around them all the time. I just go over there, make sure the bees were still flying around the hive, and maybe put on the bee suit and open up the hive and see how they reacted. Because if they got really mad if I opened the hive, then that usually meant something was wrong, like the queen was dead or they running out of food. But um, usually they were completely calm and um, made sure the entire area was clean and no weeds were around it so no ants or mice could get up. Just made sure they had enough honey to get through the winter. So we have a ton of extra supers up on the top floor and so if we ever want like 20 hives we can have that many and then over here well I think I'm going to do two hives this time this year around instead of just one and I'm planning on making more products and I'm gonna try to sell them at the buckboard which is a store just a pit stop for people that come through the valley and I'm gonna sell them there as well as at the school and um, just get more like new bee suits because the gloves are really sticky and stiff because of all the honey. So this is the extractor so we take panels of honey out of the beehive and put them in here so there's a few slots in here. It's kind of hard to see because it's so dark. But you just put them in here. You can have like 30, I think. 20 or 30 in here at a time. And it just, you press this somewhere around here, <laughs> right here. And you turn this and that turns it on and it just spins. And then when it's finished spinning everything out, you unplug this right here and put a bucket under it and all the honey drains out. 
and then you just take the these go for like twenty five dollars and I think I just have so much honey right now and I think I just don't need to sell them for that much but I think like around the holidays, like Christmas and New Year's, I might bring them up a little bit, but then I'll lower them down again.